and welcome to another OBS Studio update. This is 016.4. Now there are a few updates here that I wish to make sense of myself and therefore show you as well. So the first thing is you open it up. This is what we're looking at in Studio. Remember if you click Studio Mode it goes to Single, Studio Mode on the right hand side. So what we've got here is if I look very very carefully watch the mouse at the dead center of the screen if I drag it down you'll notice there is a splitter can you see that there's an up and down arrow if I drag it up I can split the screen so 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 useful because if I had or you had a ton of scenes or sources it would get very busy if you were looking at the top here and you had something quite intricate going on in your preview windows then make it big so you can see it Next one, we are going to look at tools and we're going to look at an output timer. Now, I haven't got a particular use for myself yet, but I'm sure that this is a great tool. And that is that you can stop streaming or stop recording after a set time. Now, that's really useful because some people might forget. Or um, there is the tool. I particularly do short videos, so I probably wouldn't use it. But if you were going for a long time, maybe I will come back to it as a feature for myself if I use it. Next one is the automatic scene switcher. Now this was an update from a little while ago, but the point of this is that if you've got a ton of active windows open and you are moving and moving, you can set start here for auto switching between windows as you move. So. If you were engrossed in, say, a game or a educational tutorial or something, you can set it up to search through your windows and automatically change to your output desired area automatically. I think that's pretty cool. The last thing, thing sorry, which is very cool as well and very useful is that if you get, say, for an example, a text file, like I've done one here, look, called OBS Test Text, which is just that text, Rather than fiddle about, I've saved it on my desktop. Now watch this. All I need to do, see where it says scenes, let me make this a bit bigger, and drag it, look, in, it says copy, let it go, and boom, we've got our text automatically in. How much time does that save? I would say loads. So if you wanted to look at the properties of that, you'll notice that the text is in the top look, but it doesn't really have, or does it? Let me have a look. I can't see where I can edit that text. Maybe that's because I've thrown in a whole text file look as opposed to typed it in. Anyway, that was it. I can't say anything else apart from they are some brilliant, brilliant updates to OBS uh, Studio 01614. Sorry, let's say that again. 016.4, and that's Windows 10 I'm using it. So happy!